Good afternoon, everybody. This is Matt Croissant, Car Guy Croissant, your internet manager and dedicated content creator over here at Kia of Columbia. Reaching out to you guys today to get you some information on the 2022 Kia Telluride SX in the beautiful and tasty Sangria with a gray interior. We haven't had this color combination come through just yet, but this is proof that Kia is still making them. So I'm sure some of you have been excited to have this color and this content come out. So let's go ahead and get started and dig in with this beautiful color combination, in my personal opinion. So up front on an SX model, we're gonna have our premium headlights indicated by the amber LED daytime running light with full projector beam headlights. Down below here, we've got front parking sensors along with LED fog lights. The SX model by itself is going to have some nice chrome accents up front with Telluride lettering and the new Kia emblem. We've got a front camera right here as well for your surround view monitor system. Wrapping around to the side, the SX has a beautiful 20 inch black spoked wheel set. And on the side here, we've got some chrome body side molding, chrome window trim, a little bit of black down below for the camera system for your side cameras, turn indicators, blind spot monitors, keyless entry, roof rails, dual sunroofs also included. And since you all are always curious about the MSRP on this type of vehicle, this is an SX with a towing package. It's gonna be 45, 745. My hair is looking crazy. It's a little windy out here today, but we got a nice little microphone, so you guys don't even know about it. So, wrapping around here, privacy glass on all of your rear windows, heated back glass with a rear wiper and sprayer. We've got some LED tail lights on here, rear parking sensors. We've got a powered smart lift gate on here. And here's a peek at the tow package. It comes with a two inch receiver, seven pin connection. You also get some trailer brake wiring harnesses in the glove box. You also get the self leveling rear suspension on here, too. Beautiful looking ride. And while we're taking in this beautiful color combination, I want to go ahead and give a big shout out to my client, Rayhan. This is his vehicle, and he's planning to come in to see us within the next couple weeks to take delivery of his beautiful Telluride. I love that he decided to be bold and go with the Sangria. I love unique colors on cars, so everybody big shout out to Rayhan. Go ahead and, and congratulate him on his purchase since we sell these at MSRP nationwide. So let's go ahead and dig on in and see what the inside looks like with that beautiful gray interior. Before we do hop in, just want to give you a quick peek at the key fob as well, just showing off some more of the features. Tell you right, of course, comes with some remote start features, power lift gate, all your buttons are on the side right here. Nice looking key, feels good in the hand. So here is our gray interior. We've got power locks, windows, and mirrors, power folding mirrors. These are gonna be automatic uh, with proximity approach to the vehicle. We've got some memory seating for two right here. Nice storage in the doors, got your Harman Kardon audio system on board. Here is your gray interior with the SX stitching and perforation pattern right here. Second stage of leather available in the Telluride. We've got a 12-way adjustable power driver seat here. We've got the nice leg roll for one and two, four and aft, three, four, up and down in the front, five, six, up and down in the back, seven, eight, nine, ten for angle adjustment, lumbar support, 11, 12. Before we hop in, we've got dash illumination on the side here, as well as blind spot monitors, lane keep assistance, traction control, and your power lift gate features. All right. So now that we're uh, inside here, let me go ahead and just fix my hair real quick. Okay. All right. So nice, beautiful interior here. Loving the gray. Got some captain's chairs in the back here. Starting off at the steering wheel here, we are going to go ahead and go over information on here. On the left is going to be uh, your entertainment features and convenience for voice recognition, audio sources, volume control. These treaded buttons right here are going to be pressable, so 
easy to find without having to actually look at the steering wheel and know where you're at. Tracks and presets, as well as Bluetooth control right here for you. On the right hand side, we're going to have our driving and information tools. So this page button with this pressable lever right here is going to control this colorized display up here. The rest of these buttons are for cruise control. So starting on the first screen, let's make sure we're there. It's going to be your little drive screen, driving info. We've got active fuel economy showing our current average based on the nine miles that the vehicle has driven or been sitting idling here most of its time. We've got accumulation info based on the total lifetime of the vehicle. By the way, these miles are put on by the service technician who does the uh, final pre-delivery inspection of the vehicle, making sure it came through from the factory prim and proper. We've also got drive info based off of when you've last refueled or started the vehicle and a digital speedometer. You can also see on the drive display, we've got fuel range, ambient temperature, safety features that are currently on or waiting to be engaged, current drive line, as well as our odometer. Moving over, we've got our navigation screen. This is going to show you your current cardinal direction, as well as turn-by-turn -turn information while you're navigating. Then you've got your safety and convenience screen, uh, showing your lane keep assistance when the lines on the road are registered. If our cruise control is activated, you can see a digital readout pops up. The Telluride scoots back. This will also register the vehicle in front of you. We've also got our driver attention system, paying attention to your driving habits and uh, making sure you're staying safe on those longer trips. Maybe you start getting a little drowsy, a little bit of road hypnosis. This Telluride's looking out for those signs and will recommend if you take a break to make sure you're refreshed and you and your family and friends are nice and safe. Down below, we've got onboard tire pressure information after we get those wheels and tires rolling a little bit to make sure there's a proper PSI in those tires. Settings, we're going to go ahead and dig through this real quick. There's a few things I want to get set up for demonstration purposes here. First, we're going to go to our door, and we're going to make sure we've got our smart lift gate activated here. We can go back lights one touch turn signal we're going to change that from three to seven flashes why you might ask because for convenience purposes i can now just nudge this it'll bring our blind view monitor system online for seven flashes instead of just three now convenient right that's going to be on both sides last let's go ahead and turn on our welcome sound which plays a nice little jingle as you're getting in and getting out of your telluride everything else we'll leave for rehan to customize himself all right, so that's it for the colorized display. And touching on the Smart Cruise system real quick, we do see that that is currently activated. All you have to do is set your speed. You can cancel it from here or put your foot on the brake. And then from there, you also can choose four different following distances. What's also going to happen when you activate the cruise control in a Telluride is you're going to get a feature called Lane Follow Assist, which will bring up a little steering wheel icon providing you steering assistance, keeping you automatically centered in the lane, and gently guiding you through light turns and curves. You also get the highway drive assist and navigation-based cruise control curve features, which can automatically slow the Telluride down for you, going through sharper turns, as well as uh, downshift for you and keep you at a maintained speed when you're going downhill. This Telluride will basically do it all for you. You can set it at the direct speed limit, or if you like to go a little bit faster than that, it will still automatically engage those features for you, and it is such a nice thing, let me tell you. So that's going to be it for the steering wheel. Let's not forget that this tilts and telescopes as need be. Oh, come on. It's easier from the top there. It's got some nice tension so you don't really lose your positioning, but definitely easier uh, with two hands. Now, let's keep in mind this is a front-wheel drive model, so this steering wheel is not heated. That's where this would be located. Our drive mode features look a little different here, too, than the all-wheel drive models. But back up here on our left-hand wand, we've got automatic headlights right here, as well as fog light control here. This vehicle is equipped with your automatic high beams, which is what that icon is for, otherwise known as high beam assistance. This will turn the brights on and off automatically at nighttime for you, but keep in mind once you're in the neighborhood, uh, go ahead and turn it off because perpendicular traffic will not be recognized by the Telluride and you might blind somebody a little bit there. So 
just so you know. But uh, again, we've got the blind view monitor system on here too. Automatically turns on for both sides. Nice little feature right there for sure. Right hand wand is going to be for your front and rear wipers with their respective sprayers. This is a non-prestige pack, so this is going to be a manually adjustable feature right here. Of course, with your intermittent setting that you can adjust right here on that first stage for wiping. Okay, that's it for this area here. Taking a peek upward, we're going to check out our sunroof. We've got a manual sunshade on the first roof here. Excuse me. We've also got an automatic sunshade back here for the fixed piece of glass. So we can go ahead and open both of these up. It's all automatic. Just takes one click for both. Oh, a little bit of water just got peed on. Whoops, that's all right. But anyways, we can go ahead and close that up since we just uh, got a little surprise right there. <laughs> but uh, right there, sunroof controls. And then moving on, we've got some nice interior lighting, full LED lighting on all three rows right here. The door light will automatically illuminate the cabin. Whew. Nice sound reduction in here. And then automatically dim them when you close the door. You've also got your Kia access features right here. Uh, 23 models will have a Kia icon right here since it's no longer known as Uvo Link. This will connect you to an app on your phone where you can remote start, lock, the doors, uh, set your heated or cooled seating that you have available in here. Um, with some of these newer models with surround view monitoring, you can actually take a 360 picture around your vehicle, put it in a valet mode. Um, so many cool features and you get this whole application suite for a year for free. And it's pretty affordable after that too. You've got a nice felt line sunglass holder right here, your microphones for your Bluetooth system and the onboard passenger talk system, which we'll go over in just a little bit. You got your auto dimming rear view mirror with home link garage controls there. And then down below, we've got the 10.25 inch entertainment screen. So this is your home screen right here where you can see, you know, a collection of information. You've got your date and time, media information, a glimpse of the map. Um, the temperature will also show up here sometimes too I'm not sure what setting in here uh, you know engages or disengages that but um, feel free to play around with that once you actually have yours we've got some nice large vents right here we've got the climate control system on auto running at 72 degrees keeping me nice and cool I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the cooled seat here glazing over the centrally located analog controls for everything with our hazard lights right here push to start of course so we've got that cooled seat running right there but uh, actually let's go ahead and dig into the entertainment center real quick don't want to glaze over this too much so once you swipe over we've got our map navigation phone phone projection is for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which is a hardwired connection to this center USB port right here you've got another one for charging of course You've got uh, voice memos that you can record on the fly. You can put the vehicle in a valet mode, like I mentioned earlier, if you have your Kia Access features active, which will notify you if your Telluride has driven more than a mile from when you activated this feature. You've got passenger talk, so we can turn the vehicle into a PA system. So you can have some clear communication uh, between all three rows of passengers here. We can always hit end right here, or we can hit the end phone call button. And you can see we've got some dual application use. You can actually add or remove content on here. Uh, we've got to get some features activated in this vehicle. So um, we'll go ahead and you can always just minimize that if you want to for a full screen effect. But we're going to go ahead and hit end head back here. You can also put the vehicle in a quiet mode which will reroute your volume to your front speakers and turn it down to seven automatically if you've got some sleepy passengers. You've got rear climate control on board. You can always hit the rear button here. HD radio data is traffic weather and travel information. You've got your radio. Let's go into the settings real quick. I want to show you guys a couple things. Going into the vehicle we want to go ahead and head over to our lighting. The SX is equipped with ambient lighting. So I'm going to turn the headlights on real quick so we can see this. It's kind of bright out right now, so we're going to do our best. We're going to jack up the brightness a little bit here. Turn that up to five. And right now, the color is set to Golden Insight. And you've got some preset colors here that we can choose from. Okay, And that's going to show up on the dash right here underneath. 
You can see a little bit of gold there. Let's maybe choose the refreshing sea. No, that's, oh, you can see it just a little bit. It's really bright out today. How about orange? Yeah, you can see that color change happen in real time right here. Maybe we don't want that though. Maybe we want a different color. And it also pops up here on the dash. But again, it's a pretty bright day out right now. So nice and sunny. Let's go ahead and actually close our sunshade there. We can actually go to set a custom color. It's gonna bring up this color wheel for you and you can choose, I believe this is between 52 and 64 colors. I can't remember the specific number, don't hate me. You can even choose just a plain white if you want to. But maybe we'll set it on this, this beautiful blue or maybe something that, um, well, let's just pick a random one. Let's go with green, let's go green, okay? So you can set that and again, in real time, it's going to automatically adjust that color for you and then you can just, back out of here and it'll be set to the custom color. So um, we'll just put it back on uh, dreamy purple for now. And uh, that just switches right over for you. So cool little tidbit there. With this vehicle being equipped with Harman Kardon audio, we're gonna go ahead and get our quantum logic engaged as well as the bass boost right there. And then Rehan can always customize this later, but we wanna provide the full effect of the sound system up front and then leave it open for adjustment later okay uh, that's about it for that everything else is uh, Rayhan's option so moving down back to the climate and charging center again we've got our heated cooled seats it's just a one-step selection in either direction okay you've got three different choices there for our charging center we've got this nice little concealable area just mash this down all the way let it bottom out don't have to be forceful with it but you've got a 12 volt again two usbs and your wireless charging pad right here tidbit about this wireless charging pad if your front door is open it's going to disengage the charging pad so no it's not broken just make sure your doors are closed not sure why it does that but it is what it is so got some nice storage right here nice cup holders little storage area our shifter right here Putting this in reverse, we can see we've got some nice 360 camera right here with the surround view monitor. We've got ooh, some rear cross traffic alert going off behind me. Maybe because of that guy right there, we'll see what Matt needed later. I don't want to interrupt this beautiful video we're making. Nice overhead center line with the towing package, blue lines representing the true sides of the vehicle right here. You can also check out the rear wheels if you need to. And we can see we've got some nice corner pathing over here. Now we're going to do a couple things here. We're going to go ahead and turn on auto hold so I can show you the front cameras. You can see auto hold text pops up in the top right. I'm going to put the vehicle in drive. That text is now green. And also, in reverse, the rear mirrors will tilt down if the selector for the mirrors is in the left or right position. Now that that text is green and we've got our front cameras on, I can actually remove my foot from the brake pedal here and the Telluride is going to hold itself in place. So we've got our front camera, pathing is changed to the front. We can also zoom in or out from here. We've got a global overhead view, some tire pathing. We can also check those front wheels to make sure we're not too close to the curb. So very nice feature. Love that. And that's going to be it for the camera system there. Now down below here we've got our drive modes. With this being front wheel drive, we've got smart, eco, comfort and sport. What I like to do in my own Telluride is just leave this in smart mode, which will change through the ladder of these driving modes for you automatically based on your pedal usage. So it'll save you as much fuel as you need or give you as much power and performance as you need. This is going to change uh, timing on the engine, steering response and feel. Um, it really changes the entire drive experience for you based on what you're needing. Smart mode. Down here, we've also got our start-stop technology, which all of you should learn to love. This will turn the engine off once you're at a complete stop, so that way you can save some fuel. Two things the Telluride will be checking for is making sure your temperature is good and maintained, as well as the engine temperature for making sure that's optimal too. You've got our camera system right here, parking sensor engagement, and your electric parking brake. Inside our center console, we've got a USB port, Nice little extra sunglass holder or tray, and that's felt lined down there for you too. 
Glove box is also felt lined, and here is that wiring harness I mentioned to you, so you can install your preferred trailer brake for your towing system. It's lockable. And that's going to be about it. Let's not forget our handy dandy visors. These are going to be mirrored, lit. Got a nice clip right here. These also telescope to reach the full length of the door. That light is nice and smart for you, by the way, so it knows what the deal is and what you're trying to do. Okay, let's go ahead and check out our rear seating area and keep an ear out for that welcome sound saying goodbye to us. Electric parking brake automatically engages with my foot on the brake to prevent any roll forward or roll back, especially if we're going to be towing. Easy recline feature, you saw me scoot back just a little bit too, so the next person, regardless of their proportions, can hop right in and then select their seating. The tow you ride also remembers its last known position, so it'll move you right back in. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and lock this up. We do a quick little smart lift gate demo. La -di -da 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 -da. Look at this beautiful Sorrento and everlasting silver and this super cool Seltos, baby. All right, now that we've done some shopping at Key of Columbia, we're going to go ahead and return back to our Telluride since we're out of proximity. I've got nothing in my hands, the keys in my pocket. We're going to go ahead and just stand next to this. For those, the lift gate's going to automatically open without you having to do any stupid, crazy kicks or swipes. Man, I can only imagine how terrible that receiver for the tow package would feel on my shin. Or, you know, I've seen people accidentally just, boom, just kick their car. <laughs> We're a little bit smarter than that over here at Kia. So, um, that's your smart lift gate feature. We can see we've got a nice little cargo transfer plate right here. We include the all-weather mats as well as the rear cargo tray for an extra 400 bucks on here. That's the only thing that we add on to our vehicles. We complementarily add nitrogen to the tires for you though and provide you some extra roadside assistance benefits uh, with the company that we're partnered with that we use for our fluids and some of our other service pieces. So back here we've got this beautiful storage area right here. We've got a third row as well and I realize I've completely skipped over the second row but don't worry we'll get right to it. I just get excited about that smart lift gate don't I? So we've got a nice cargo area right here. Since this is all in the plastic still I'm just going to pull this right on out. There we go. And put that right there too. So we've got tons of storage back here, as we can see. And let's go ahead and just check out the second row before I get too much further. Whoops. You can set that to a uh, just one press unlock for all the doors, or you can keep it as a two press. Second row. Got some nice sunshades right here. Nice large door handles so you never actually have to touch your paint. Nice little training moment for you and the family. The less you touch your paint, the less it's going to get messed up, the uh, nicer it looks for much longer. Automatic windows on all four doors. Extra storage here. We've got the captain's chairs. Checking out the passenger seat that's bare here. We've got some nice dual cargo, a bag holder, and USB port. It's the same for both seats cup holders here and a 12 volt outlet down below. Rear seats feature a nice armrest on the captain's chairs. We can see that angle is not optimal. Just lift up. That'll ratchet into place for you. So whether you've got the seat all the way lean back or upright, you can have that perfect angle. As you can see, we've got rear climate controls and lighting. There is ventilation up above and down below on all three rows for you, just so you know. If you need to get into the third row, just a one-touch slide system. Just press that button there or there. The seats can also fold all the way down, which I'm sure we'll get to see in this side seat right here. The driver's seat's kind of far back. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and head on back here. Boom, every time, every time. Third row, sports more USB ports, more cup holders and storage, speakers, subwoofer, another 12 volt. You can press these buttons over here to fold down that rear seating. That will fold all the way down and lock into place. You'll have to manually set that back up there. So you have tons of cargo space right here. This cargo mat can actually fold up to three and you can store it right back here 
This little board stays in place too if you have the third row up and you need the extra volume for cargo. These are just some extra towing accessories in here. Got a tongue as well as a cover cap right there. Roadside tools are just right over here. Spare tire access reel is located right here. So let's go ahead and reset this. And third row is really easy to install. Pull, let go, headrest comes up. See for one here, as you can see, you've got your latch system on this side, so you can put a car seat back here. There's seating for three. And again, ventilation and lighting for you as well. Go ahead and turn that on. To uninstall, just choke up on this. It's spring-loaded, so just guide it forward a little bit, and it'll fall right into place and lock in for you right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff back in the vehicle. Hiya. Hoo-ya. And one more, give it a little, little shaky shake there. Okay, awesome. All right, hit our power button right there and we're good to go. Last but not least, let's go ahead and check on that passenger seat. This was a little bit of a longer one and I appreciate your guys' time. Got an eight way adjustable power passenger seat right here along with a little bit of extra storage on the right hand side of the console area again training moment swing that baby perfect close every time all right guys that's it we're done once again thanks again for your time we're checking out this 2022 kia telluride sx in sangria with a great interior ladies gentlemen people please make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information I've provided to you today. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So that way you can stay up to date with all of your friends and family, with all the information that I'm providing to you for your informational and shopping needs. This video is available, of course, on my page, as well as the Kia of Columbia page, no matter which one you're on or which one you find. Go give us both a subscribe and that notification bell alert so that way you can stay updated with all of the content that I'm going to be providing for these pages. It's kind of all the same right now as we help the Key of Columbia page grow, but eventually it's going to have its own individualized and personalized content for you guys, and I'm thankful for you either way. Also, if this video has helped you make a big buying decision or purchase, and you couldn't do it through me for whatever reason, and you want to thank me for my time, feel free to go ahead and leave a super like on YouTube here, or you can utilize the tip jar for PayPal on the about section or cover art of the Car Guy Croissant YouTube channel. This is Matt Croissant, your internet manager and dedicated content creator over here at Kia of Columbia here in Columbia, Missouri. Thank you so much again for your time. If you're interested in getting in contact with me, feel free to head over to keyofcolumbia.com and get started from there. We'll send you a text back or an email, whatever you prefer, with some personalized video content from one of my salespeople. Thanks again. Hope you guys are having a great one.